Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on numeration. Numeration involves using symbols to represent numbers. For example, now here are some examples. The, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So these are the symbols and they represent the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So basically the symbol is a mark, if you like, on a sheet of paper and when you look at that mark you get an idea what number you're talking about. And when we discuss numbers or use the word number we're basically using the expression how many okay so it's an amount that's basically what it is our system of numbers is called the Hindu Arabic system you may have also heard of another system of numbers called Roman numerals numeral this is a symbol which is used to represent a number. As we saw earlier, the symbols are in column 1. And here they are. So they're actually symbols and they represent numbers. Digits. The individual numerals from 0 to 9 are called digits. They are also referred to as single digit numbers. Counting. Numbers can be counted forward or backward. Both of these methods should be practiced regularly so that students become proficient in either direction. So you can count forward from one, going up as far as you want, or you can count backwards, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, or you can start from any number. Counting numbers can be either even or odd. So the even numbers are naught or zero, Sometimes you can call it naught, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, etc. They continue on. Note that 0 is an even number. Okay, so it definitely is an even number. Some people get a bit confused about that, but it is an even number. All even numbers, even very large ones, always end in either 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So some examples. The following are examples of even numbers, 34, 256, 670, 908. Notice they all end in 4, 6, 0, 8. That's why they're all even. The odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, etc. They continue on. All odd numbers, even very large ones, always end in either 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. 19, 157, 285. So they're all odd numbers. Recording numbers. The following are some of the popular ways of recording numbers. The first one is using numerals. 7, 56, 431. Okay, so these are the numerals or the symbols. And when we write them down, we know what number we're talking about. You can also use words, okay, 5, 23, 102. So you can actually write them down. Now, when you want to use calculations, which we'll see later, you have to use this, this system here. You, you can't really do calculations using words, but you can write numbers down that way. You can also use base 10 blocks. So the diagram to the right gives the value of three different combinations. So this little um, diagram here, which is like a little cube, that stands for one. Ten of those cubes, that gives you ten. Okay, so when you've got this, it's like a stick with ten little cubes, that's ten. And this is like a flat shape, and that gives you a hundred. So if you had three of those little ones, that represents the number three. If you had one of the long ones and two little ones, 10 plus 2 is 12. If you had the flat one, that's 100. Those two are 20. And here we have 3. So that's 123. So there are three different ways of recording numbers. So that's just a little bit of an 
an introduction into numeration and counting and our number system.